described by many as the hidden gem of the festival, Egyptian riot film Eshtabak opened in Cannes. The film is a contender for the uncertain regard prize at the Cannes Film Festival. Set after the removal of Muslim Brotherhood leader Mohamed Morsi in 2013, Eshtabak follows a group of protesters from all sides of the political spectrum who find themselves locked up together in the same prison van. Any war, just consider, see any war. People see each other uh, with only two colors, black and white. So to try to force them to see the world in gray, Sometimes you uh, accept that and sometimes you don't. Like I tr we tried our best to play games in the film to make everyone see the other from their, from, uh, from their point of view. And that's very hard for someone who wants to see the, uh, the other as evil. So I know this film is going to be very controversial. The entire movie was filmed from within the prison van, which not only made it exciting, but a demanding process altogether. It was a pleasure for me, but of course I know that uh, it's going to be very difficult <laughs> because to shoot one mo uh, mo all, all the movie in, in, you know, in, in a car, in a closed place, with too many people, and especially Egypt is very hot. <laughs> it's like if uh, outside is 40 degrees, so in the car with the electricity it's like 50 degrees. So, <laughs> uh, But thanks God we were shooting, it wasn't so hot. Egypt has had a turbulent political path since the 2011 revolution that toppled Hosni Mubarak, ending his 30-year rule. Now with another former military strongman in power, the Said events in the country have had a great impact on a generation of young Egyptians, but he still remains hopeful. The film for me was a kind of self-treatment, a kind of valediction message to, uh, I don't want to say the revolution because I always have hope, but it really was difficult for me to make this film and it was a form of treatment and I felt that even if I fail to realize my dreams, I am talking about myself. If I fail to realize my dreams, at least I was able to acknowledge it. And what I hope is that for everyone who sees this film, that something inside them changes, even if it's just something small, to forget the hate speech that unfortunately exists among us. Emotionally charged throughout, the film is an attempt to get members of Egypt's fractured society to identify with each other's position. This is Diab's second film, his first film, Cairo 678, focused on another topical issue, sexual harassment in Egypt. Leslie Marungu, CCTV.